Hello, Analyzers. New update for the web app is here. Stay tuned. We're going to get into it and I'll show you what's new. Our first major update in this release is to competing seller search. And competing seller search is one of our most po popular searches. It's one of the easiest sourcing methods out there to sell products on Amazon. And the reason it's so popular is you can literally scout your competition's storefront, see what's working for them, and source those products and jump on the most profitable listings. So we've always had this search. We're one of the only providers out there that provides a effective competing seller storefront search. But the improvements that we've made in this release has to do with the speed of the processing performance for competing seller storefront search, as well as the number of results generated. So while I am describing this, I've got a storefront pulled up here in the UK. Amazon says there's over a thousand or around a thousand results. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and scan this so you can see what I'm talking about. This search used to take about an hour because it is a very tedious process to take all of those products from Amazon and de deliver them to the app. But we've made improvements to the speed and now we've, we're also delivering more products than ever before. We used to have a limitation on the number of products delivered for non deep scan competing seller storefront searches. So I didn't use deep scan on the search. And um, without deep scan, you used to be limited to um, around a thousand, maybe a little bit less products, you would be limited to only what Amazon would show you on their page, right? Amazon actually doesn't show you all of the products in a seller storefront. In this case, they're saying about a thousand, there's 69 pages with 16 results per page. So just for demonstration, you can see here that should equal around 1100 results. But what you'll see here is we're already just in in the last minute or so, we've already processed in excess of that. We're up to 1,835 products. How, you may ask? Well, that's part of the secret sauce. Amazon actually doesn't show you everything, but we're, act we're able to extract more than what Amazon will show you on their page. Now, you can still use deep scan and deep scan uh, tends to provide even more results than the regular search. So there may, there may actually be more than 2,072 products in the seller storefront. And you can uh, use DeepScan, which is quite a bit slower, but does extract more products. So I'm pretty excited about this because it allows you to use one of our most popular uh, uh, scans in a way that's dramatically faster and produces dramatically better results. The next major update is to product variations. Now we've always shown product variations, but for those of you that sell variations, you know the big challenge with variations is you don't really know which ones are selling and which ones are not. And that's because Amazon applies a sales rank to the entire listing, including all of the variants, and they don't distinguish between the multiple variations on a listing to show you which ones are selling better and which ones are selling worse. So for example, we've got product variations here for this Apple iPhone. And if we open up this listing, we'll be able to see that there's a bunch of different colors and if you're sourcing this phone um, and you're looking at all of these variations, how do you know which one of these to order? Because the sales rank for all of these is the exact same. But it could be that black is selling a lot better than yellow. And there's just really no way to know until now. So what we've done is we've included this new section on the product detail page that details variation level reviews. This will tell you how many reviews each variant has 
and it'll give you a percentage of total reviews. So this will allow you to pretty intelligently know which ones are selling because those that are will likely have more reviews and which ones are not selling because those are likely to have less reviews. So if I was looking to sell this phone, I would definitely be interested in, in these uh, top four color variants because we see that they have the lion's share of review reviews and I would have never guessed, but the red one actually sells better than all of them, more than likely because it has the most reviews. Now you can access this in the product detail page in the web app, and this is a very useful feature for anyone that is selling or is interested in selling variations. The next feature update is the multi-step sort. So this is useful if you have um, a list like this and you want to sort by multiple columns in sequential order. So for example, we know we can sort any column just by clicking on it, just like I did right there for the profit column. So we'll sort the profit column in descending order here. But what if I wanted to apply a secondary sort? So let's say I wanna sort by, by profit first and then by ROI second. Well, I can do that now. If I hold shift, I can now click on the next column. I'm gonna click on ROI now. And you can see that there's a number one on profit and a number two on ROI indicating a sequential multi-step sort. And then let's say I want to sort by purchase price as my third. So I just hold down shift and sort by purchase price, just like that. And it will now sort by profit first, ROI second, and purchase price third, just that easy. The next update has to do with the hide and unhide features. So if you've ever taken time to go in here and hide products that were not relevant to you, and you do this for a bunch of different products and usually you do this after filtering a list down to a short list and you've got your hidden products exactly how you want them and as you're going through this instead of hit instead of clicking on hide you accidentally click unhide all and that's really frustrating because all of that work just was is wasted immediately because everything is unhidden and all the products come back. Well, it was a suggestion by a user again that we have a confirmation window that asks, are you sure you want to unhide all hidden rows? Now you have the option to not show this if you click this option, this little uh, checkbox right here, but this now ensures you never accidentally uh, unhide all and lose all of your uh, all of your precious work. Now that's not all of the updates in this release. Please check our blog post on Analyzer Tools in the Knowledge Base to see the full list of updates. Um, we didn't demonstrate everything, and uh, we hope that you guys appreciate and enjoyed the uh, this update. And we're always looking for feedback, so please let us know what you think. You can contact me directly at support at analyzer.tools. And please follow, like, and share us on social. Uh, we have a Facebook uh, page, and we also use Twitter. Uh, so please find us there, like us, share our page with your friends, and uh, let us know what you think on social as well.